I've got some home cleaning hacks that are gonna make your life easier, and I've got some really cool products to tell you about. I'm Jamie, the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. I'd like to thank Blue Land for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, we are going to be going all over the house today. I'm talking about the kitchen, the bathroom, the laundry room, even the car, and I'm going to be sharing some crazy hacks with you. And we're going to start with one of the most simplest. It is this plastic bin. This is a bin. It's kind of like a rubberized plastic. I love the decorative accent on here. It's, of course, my favorite color blue. But what I love to do with this is to keep my clean towels, my clean like bar mops, my clean sponges, anything like that under the sink. This is so easy. Easy, so grab and go and what's so great about it is it's got these handles on it so it does make it really easy to grab it out of the cabinet grab out what you need to clean what you need to if it's not super dirty put it back in there let it you know let it air out first but again this is something that I use all the time I have these not only under the kitchen sink but I also have them in the bathroom for other cleaning supplies now the other thing that I grab and I love these I have probably 15 of these I would think yes it is this clear lucite drawer system now these are super super fun and what's so great about these is that the drawer on the front is very very easy to use it's got this great little handle on there but what is also really unique about these is that they are stackable there's a little bit of a divot here as you can see and uh, I've actually taken mine and glued them together to create my own little kind of cleaning drawer system now under my kitchen sink I put my cleaning tablets in there I put my dishwasher pods in there and it is the easiest kind of grab and go system and it's super super easy and super super convenient whenever I feel like cleaning now the other thing that I grab and if you can find these at Dollar Tree, you need to grab them. This is my old one. I've had this one for quite some time. It is an adjustable kind of towel holder. It goes over your cabinet doors. You can put this in the bathroom. You can put this in the kitchen. I love to take it and actually separate it and put paper towels on it. You can use this for toilet paper. If you had a bathroom, maybe you didn't want to put a toilet paper holder in the bathroom or, you know, uh, you want to have one of those in the bathroom, obviously. But um, maybe you want to not install it on the wall is what I meant to say. Anyway, this is also really good for your favorite cleaning supplies. Now, this makes it super, super easy because it hangs on the inside of the kitchen sink or the kitchen cabinet. You've got all of your cleaning supplies ready to go. Super grab and go convenient and it makes cleaning really, really fun. Now, since we are talking about cleaning, that brings me to our sponsor today, Blue Land. Now, I first discovered Blue Land on Shark Tank a couple seasons ago, and I really loved their mission. Now, ever since, I don't know, I quit my job like six months ago, I have been getting rid of things that weigh me down. I've been getting rid of clutter. I've been cleaning out closets. I've been cleaning out from under the bed. And when I went into my laundry room, I was absolutely blown away by the number of cleaning products that I had in there. But when I also started thinking about like paring those down and, you know, combining things that were safe to do, I ended up realizing how many empty bottles were going to be just thrown away. And I just didn't like that. That just wasn't cool to me. So I realized that Blue Land was going to have everything that I needed. Now, Blue Land's products are planet and people friendly because there's no waste. Their products are compostable. They're also recyclable and they include, that includes their packaging. Like their products are free from phosphates. They're free from chlorine. They're free from bleach. They're VOC free. There's no ammonia. Also, their products are hypoallergenic and they're sourced from vegan and non-GMO ingredients. I ended up getting the clean essentials kit and that included the bathroom cleaner. It included the glass and mirror cleaner. It included the hand soap and it also included the multi-surface cleaner. And it also included the forever bottles, which I think are the best thing ever because these are literally my forever bottles. I can use these bottles over and over and over again and all I have to do is buy these great little cleaning tablets. Now to get started with all you have to do is fill your forever bottle with warm to hot water. You're going to drop in one of your tablets into the water. You're going to let it dissolve and then once it does dissolve add the nozzle and begin cleaning. It is literally just that easy. Now Blue Land's products are a 
effective and affordable, and their refill tablets start at just $2.25. You can also get more savings by buying the refills at bulk, or you can set up a subscription, which is going to be super convenient for you because you are never going to run out of your favorite cleaning products. Now, I again have that Blue Land Cleaning Essentials Kits, and I have to say that the multi surface cleaner is by far my favorite. I love the smell. I love everything about it. Now, I want you to try Blue Land, and Blue Land wants you to try it as well. So they are going to give you a great discount. Now, all you have to do is click the link in my description box, and you are going to get 15% off of your very first kit. Now, remember, this is a special discount only for my viewers. So if you're watching it right now, that means it's for you. So check it out. Definitely give it a try. Blue Land is made to keep our homes and our planets in tip-top shape. And uh, to do that, we need to get back to the video and do some more cleaning hacks. Now, another item that I really do love is this sponge holder. I love this for two reasons. One, it's got these great suction cups on the back of it. These suction cups hold really, really well. And what I also like is that it has these built-in drainage holes. So you can take your sponge, wipe away, clean away, do whatever you're gonna do with your favorite cleaning products, and then take your sponge, put it right back into the holder, and you've got an area that's gonna let it dry. It's holding up out of the water. It is a great little gadget to have. Another gadget that I really do love a lot is this cleaning sponge. Now, this little thing is crazy. There's like little sponges on the end here, and what's so great about this is that it will get into smaller areas it cleans and it holds the product in here as well. So if you wanted to kind of put this again in your favorite cleaner and you're wanting to use it to clean your dishes or your pots or anything, you can use this little gadget all the time. I will use this until it is completely like dead. And then I will grab another one because I really like it that much. I love that you can wring it out. It's not going to hold a lot of water. You can also stand it up right next to that sponge holder and it's going to dry itself out and then you can use it again. Now, the other little hack that I have for you, this is I guess the first hack, is aluminum foil. Believe it or not, aluminum foil is more than just an instrument for cooking. How was that? I went really fancy with the aluminum foil that was upside down. The aluminum foil is also great because you can use it for a cleaning pad. Believe it or not, you can take a aluminum foil and use it as a scrubber. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing anything that has like a non-stick surface or anything like that, but you can totally use this for cleaning out like your cookie sheets or any of your pans that go in the oven. I use a ball of aluminum foil on my pans all the time. They come clean and they are the perfect little shiny, almost brand new for me to be able to mess up and put in the kitchen again. Now, the other thing that I do like to use in my kitchen is this splat cover, this kind of microwave cover. You can get this in the kitchen kind of essential section. And what's so great about this is that literally just goes in your microwave. It's got holes to help aerate things. And uh, it's even got these little handles, these little finger holes here. You can put this in your microwave, put it right over top of your plate. It's going to help split from like splatters and things. And it's super, super convenient. And it's also pretty easy to wash as well. Now, another hack or another thing that I love to have in my kitchen are these funnels and you can get these sets of three funnels at the Dollar Tree in the kitchen section for $1.25 and these are great. I love these. I've actually used these in DIY projects before. I have used these for a lot of different things. One of stuck right now and uh, there's three different sizes, three different sizes. You can literally keep one in the garage if you wanted to. You could keep one in the kitchen. You could keep one, where else would you need a funnel? Let me know in the comments below where else you would use a funnel. I'm trying to think, where else would I use the funnel? Now, another thing that you could do in the kitchen is this little serving container. Now they call it a milk and serve container, but I love this because it's got the measurements inside of it already, but also it's got this little pop lid. How perfect would this be for pancake mix? Like 
I don't know about you guys, but I feel like any time that I make pancakes, I always have way too much batter. And uh, I end up eating a bunch of pancakes, which I don't need to do. This will allow me to make whatever kind of pancake mix I have. I can literally pop the lid. I can pour my pancakes into the pan and then I can store whatever I need to. And uh, it's not gonna be a problem anymore. Now, if you're looking for some really cool home hacks, let me tell you about one that I discovered. It is using rubbing alcohol, a Ziploc bag, and water. We are going to create our very own gel ice pack. Now, what is crazy about this is that you take one cup of rubbing alcohol to two cups of water. Add it into a Ziploc bag and you've got your very own gel pack, kind of like an ice pack. What's so crazy about this is that the alcohol prevents this ice pack from freezing because alcohol does not freeze. When you add that two to one ratio, you've got a gel pack that you can use anytime you have a sore muscle or a sore back. It literally is something that you can make up in any size. You could use a gallon size Ziploc bag. You could use a sandwich size Ziploc bag. You could even use a little snack size bag if you want. Just make sure that your alcohol to water is at two to one ratio. So you want to have one part alcohol and one part rubbing alcohol that is and then you want to have two parts water and that is going to create a very cool ice pack for whenever you've got a little ache or a pain now the next hack that I have is something that I cannot take credit for I saw this on my friend Sarah Jane's channel from chic on the cheap and she used a pool noodle to fill a bucket I was blown away. I thought that this was the coolest idea ever. Now, all you have to do is take one end of the pool noodle, put it over the faucet in your bathroom, and then extend the other side of that pool noodle directly down into a bucket. And yes, this is going to fill up your bucket from your sink, or you could just put it in the bathtub if you wanted to. I wanted to show you. I thought it was cool. Now, the other thing that I did find out is that you can use rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush to clean your jewelry. Now, this does not apply to every type of jewelry. I would definitely do your research, especially when it comes to precious stones. You don't want to use it on pearls. You don't want to use it on any kind of a soft gemstone, but gold, sterling silver, toothbrush, rubbing alcohol, it's the perfect combo for cleaning up your jewelry. Now, another thing that I really do love, and I have to say I was super excited to find this at Dollar Tree. Anytime I see this, I always grab them, and that is baking soda. Baking soda is a great way to keep your freezer and your refrigerator fresh. There's actually a ton of different uses that you can do with baking soda, but for me, I just got a freezer for my back kind of porch area, my kind of utility room, and I wanted to have something to keep that area nice and fresh. Now, another thing that I really like to do and like to keep fresh is uh, my belly. I like to fill my belly with goodness. And believe it or not, there is a very easy recipe hack that you can do with a box of chocolate, like cake mix from Dollar Tree and canned pumpkin. All you have to do is combine these two together and it creates the most decadent dense muffin. Now I took mine a little step further and I did also add some cherry pie filling to mine. So I made these chocolatey cherry muffins. You literally follow the instructions on the back of the box and that's all you do. You mix together pumpkin, you mix together the cake mix, and you mix together maybe half of the can of the cherries, and it creates the most yummy, decadent muffins that are so delicious. And by the way, I learned this hack at Weight Watchers. This is a Weight Watchers hack. I don't remember what the points were per muffin because it was such a long time ago. Definitely check it out if you're following the Weight Watchers plan, but uh, that's a great little hack. And uh, it's two ingredients. It's $1.25 each. Such a good, good 
easy, easy recipe. Another easy recipe is to make a meatloaf. And to do that, you can take a box of stuffing mix that you can get from Dollar Tree, combine this with a pound of ground turkey or a pound of ground beef, and you've got the easiest meatloaf. All of the seasonings, everything is already in there, and it makes the most yummy meatloaf. This is also another Weight Watchers hack that I learned that I wanted to share with you guys. I literally do this probably at least once a week for a meal. It is super easy and it makes the best meatloaf sandwiches ever for the leftovers. Now, when you are going to have leftovers, you're going to have leftovers most of the time anyway. And these little short fresh cover-ups are so great. These things are great because they will literally expand and cover up any kind of leftover that you have. I love these. They kind of look like a little hairnet. It's not a hairnet, but I mean, I guess you could use it as a hairnet if you wanted to, but they really are designed for, you know, for your leftovers. Now, another great hack that I discovered is using a Dollar Tree sock. You guys know how much I love Dollar Tree socks, but did you know that you can use these to clean your blinds with? Yes, you can actually clean your blinds with these socks. All you have to do is take one of these socks, Put it on your hand and literally wipe down your blinds. You could spray your favorite cleaner on there, of course, and uh, wipe away. That is literally all you have to do. And then when you're done, take the sock, put it in the dryer. Or, well, put it in the washer first, then put it in the dryer. <laughs> Now, when we're doing cleaning hacks, of course, we have to also talk about our automobiles, our cars, and this little duster that you can pick up is a game changer. I love this duster so, so much. This was in the automotive section at Dollar Tree, and what I love about it is it's got these little kind of knobbies on the side of it here. You can spray this with your favorite cleaner that, of course, is safe for your car, and then you can wipe off your dash, you can wipe off your console, you could also use this side if you wanted to have kind of more like a microfiber kind of side. This is also machine washable. All you have to do is toss this in the washer and the dryer and you've got a cleaning product that you can use all the time. Also what I really do love about this is that there's nothing that says there's no rules against you using this inside the house either. You could also use this as a duster for your furniture, for your bookshelves, all kinds of great things. This is definitely a game changer. I love this so, so much. Now, a hack that my dad taught me is for keeping your windshield washer blades really, or your windshield wiper blades really, really sharp. And to do that, all you have to do is take a Brillo pad, take a Brillo pad, just lightly go over each one of your windshield wiper blades and you will be surprised at how much longer your windshield wiper blades will actually last you. This is a hack that I've shown before and I love this hack. It definitely makes a difference. If you start to see your windows getting a little cloudy or maybe your wipers are not working the way that they should, take a little Brillo pad, go over the blades just very, very lightly and you'll be surprised at the difference you'll be able to see. Now, a Another thing that I love, in addition to a clean windshield, of course, is having a clean towel to do that with. And these microfiber cloths are great. I love these whenever I'm cleaning glass or mirrors. I use my favorite Blue Land product, of course, and I am using this on my windshield. I use it on the mirrors inside. It does not leave streaks. There's no lint. And it is also super, super easy to clean and to reuse again throw it in the washer when you're done, put it in the dryer. You've got a great microfiber cloth that you can use time and time again. Um, the other thing that I really do love, and I meant to mention these earlier in my kitchen hacks video, but these bar mops, these bar mops are my favorite. Now you can get them in a three pack now since the prices have increased at Dollar Tree. They used to sell these individually then they sold them as a two pack. Now they're selling them as a three pack. So if you can get your hands on them, find the three packs. Trust me, don't get suckered and buy the one pack or the two pack. Look for the three pack and these are worth it. I love these. I use these so much in not only my general, just kind of everyday cleaning, but I use these in my craft room when I'm creating. These bar mops are a game changer and definitely something that you want to have on hand. Now, another little hack I learned is with this laundry bag that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. These laundry bags are a game changer when it comes to cleaning 
cleaning your sneakers. Whether you're cleaning sneakers or slippers, you don't want to hear them going clunk, 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 clunk in your dryer. And I'm telling you, this little laundry bag hack is fantastic. All you have to do is put your shoes inside of the laundry bag, tie a knot at the top of it, Take the knot and extend it outside of the dryer door. Center your shoes on the dryer. Close the dryer door with the knot hanging outside and your shoes are going to go through the drying cycle without all of the clunk, 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 clunk. And uh, they actually work fantastically. You can reuse these over and over again. They're super, super convenient. And what's great about them too is that if you wanted to also put dirty clothes in it and kind of carry it to the laundromat or to the hamper or to your mom's house to do laundry with, whatever you want, you can definitely do that as well. My mother would kill me if I brought home laundry right now. Now, another hack that I have for you are cotton balls and taking essential oils and combining them. This essential oil brand is one that I really like from Dollar Tree. It's all natural and I do buy this one as much as I can anytime I see it. What you need to do is take your essential oil douse a cotton ball with it and then take that cotton ball and put it inside of your vacuum cleaner. You want to put this in the bag of your vacuum cleaner or in the, um, if you have a bagless vacuum cleaner, kind of wherever all the, all the schmutz goes into when you vacuum. Because every time you vacuum, that essential oil smell is going to permeate through that cotton ball and shoot out of your vacuum cleaner. And it's going to be a beautiful, blissful smell. And uh, your whole house is going to smell good too when you're doing it. So why not enjoy it when you're vacuuming? Now, the last thing that I have is this container. I love these containers. These containers are so versatile. Not only could you use these for your Blue Land cleaning tablets, you could use these for your dishwasher pods, you could use these for laundry pods, you could also use these in the kitchen for snacks. Now, they're not airtight, so I wouldn't recommend, you know, any kind of dry goods or anything like that, that uh, anything that would go stale, essentially, I guess dry goods would probably be okay in this. But um, these are great for those individually wrapped packages of snacks or crackers or cookies. And again, for a cleaning hack or for a home hack, this is a game changer. For $1.25, if you can find these, you need to run and grab as many as you can. They have this larger size, and then there's also a smaller size that's about half this size that you can get. And then in the glassware section, occasionally you will find a smaller version with um, out a little handle but it does have a lid that's also a great one to grab if you can all right guys that is it that is my home and cleaning hacks video i hope that you enjoyed it definitely check out blue land there's that link in the description box below you can save 15 percent on your own kits definitely make a change and uh start having some great cleaning products in your home. All right, guys, take care. I hope you enjoyed these hacks. Let me know in the comments below which ones were your favorite. All right, guys, take care. Until then, bye-bye.